So you see, the thing is, uh, the semester starts tomorrow, and I just I could not be bothered to take notes. Like honestly, like I'm so bad at taking notes. I literally just put down like the most irrelevant things onto the piece of paper. Barely can even read my own handwriting, to be honest. So I need to automate that process so that I actually have good notes for the future. And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to use some AI tools to make an automatic note taker that's gonna take the MP3 or the WAV file, so just like the audio recording of the lecture, turn that into text, and then once we have that text, we can summarize that text into notes. So first things first, we're gonna open up our VS code and we're gonna go to, let's see, our files, open folder, and I'm just gonna scroll down to my documents folder. We're gonna create a new folder, and I'm gonna name my project, we're gonna name it Trop La Flemme. So for the francophones out there, you know what that means. Basically French slang for, I'm too lazy, too lazy, Trop La Flemme. Okay, first things first, let's try to work on getting the audio to text and then once we get the audio to text we can maybe use an LLM or a uh, text summarization model to sort of condense our output our transcript of the audio file into notes so first things first let's create a new file voice recognition.py all right and so first things first, we're gonna use OpenAI's Whisper model. So I really feel like OpenAI's Whisper model is probably like the best speech to text. So let's like, just look at this example. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs. Plus... So like, I did not understand any of that. Like it was kind of fuzzy. And if we reveal the transcript, like it comes out. And so this will be really good in lectures because sometimes, you know, you're in like the back of the class. So it's maybe not gonna be super clear what the professor is saying, but hopefully the OpenAI Whisper module will be able to help us with that. So if we go to the GitHub page for the Whisper module, we'll see OpenAI has given us just a bunch of info about how the model works, how to set it up, which is important because you might need to install this obviously. Also just like the sizes of the different models available and just how accurate they are based on different languages. And you see this is like, an incredible amount of language support. So this is really, really cool. But let's just scroll down to just the basic Python usage. So we're gonna try this. And the thing is, I don't have uh, an MP3 file named audio.mp3, so this won't work, but we should at least see like if we can import Whisper. Okay, so now that OpenAI's Whisper module is downloaded, let's try running our program. And you see right now it's downloading the module not even that many parameters, which is impressive. And then of course it can't find the file because the file doesn't exist, audio.mp3. So now let's put this to the test. Let's actually make an audio mp3. So I'm gonna go to Audacity and I'm just gonna start recording a basic audio file. So I'm just gonna be saying random stuff. Uh, what should I say? The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic test. Crap, I don't actually know the rest of that. For those of you who were born in like the early 2000s in the United States, you know about the fitness gram pacer test. Uh, it's basically a test where they do in like middle school, uh, physical education classes and elementary and high school, where you just basically run back and forth across the gym at faster and faster rate. And then it kind of gives you a score to assess how good you are at your cardiovascular ability. Um, it was pretty painful at the beginning, but now since I'm a bit more into running, uh, it, it's kind of interesting for me, you know, it's like, okay, like how many can I get? Um, but yeah, anyways, for those of you who know about the fitness gram pacer test, what was your, what was your high score? How many laps did you get? Put it down in the comments below. Okay. I think that should be enough. So we're going to stop recording and we're going to export this audio. We're going to export it not as WAV, but as MP3. And let's see, what was the name of the file? Audio.mp3, okay. So we're gonna export this as audio.mp3. And we're gonna put it into the library where we have Trollaflem. Perfect, export. Okay, close out of that. Yeah, we don't need to save the project. 
And we're gonna go back here. You see audio.mp3 is saved. And let's try running this again. And you see after maybe about 30 seconds on my machine, we get the transcription of that audio file where I'm just saying random stuff. It gets it wrong. It says fitness grant instead of fitness gram pacer test. But at the end of the day, when you're transcribing an entire lecture and then summarizing it, it's okay if the transcription isn't 100% perfect because the idea is that hopefully the summary will just get everything down into a nice understandable format. And that the main ideas will still stay the same even if the transcription isn't perfect. But this is pretty good. Um, we can go back and check based on like what I said, how it adds up. But overall, this is pretty good. So the next part is going to be taking this text and then summarizing it using an LLM. Now in this example, the LLM that we're going to be using is Google's Gemini model, pretty much just because it's free and I couldn't be bothered to pay those OpenAI service charges, even though they're, they're honestly not that much. If I were to deploy this to production, I absolutely would use OpenAI's model, but since this is just like a simple demo, we're gonna use Gemini just to see how LLMs in general will do at making this task. All right, so now that we have the speech to text out of the way, it's time to do the summarization. And I'm gonna be real with y'all, I think just using an LLM is gonna be the best way to go about this. Now, why do I say that? Because frankly, I'm just too lazy to like train my own summarization model or even download one that's used on like say Hugging Face. Uh, if we do Gemini, I mean, it's free. So you don't have to pay like you would with ChatGPT and you just get like the servers handling everything for you. It's just really nice. Like don't have to even run it necessarily on your local machine because it's just all being done in the cloud. Super sick. Anyway, so you're going to go to this website, aai.google.dev. And yeah, basically we just got to install what we need. So pip install Google Generative AI. And you can see once that's done running, I have this code right here, which I actually got from my GitHub page. And all this is saying this is just a quick script that I wrote is we're getting the Google API key, which is going to be in a TXT file, which I'm going to put in here. Uh, then we're just authenticating our Gemini Pro. And then afterwards, I just have this function called get summary. And what it's going to do is it's going to use the prompt summarize and take notes on the following transcript from a lecture and then we're going to put in the transcript that we got from OpenAI's Whisper API. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put in the API key and now I've pasted my API key into this Google API key.txt file and so everything should run as expected. Now the next part that we're going to do is we're going to test how well this summarization actually is. So instead of using a transcript, we're actually just going to get a transcript from a lecture. So if I just look up, I don't know, say Harvard lecture. So I guess it's just some random lecture, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna find out what it is because Gemini is gonna summarize for us. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna find a website that gets the transcript for us. So, okay. So we got that. We can copy the entire transcript. And then right here it's asking for us to define transcript. So I can literally just say, get summary and then transcripts will just be this whole entire thing. Okay, cool. We should probably print that out as well. And now let's run this and see what notes we get. Here we go. We have our entire transcript and you see it's even in like a nice HTML summary, which is cool. So it's talking about Herbie Hancock, who's a renowned jazz musician, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it's giving us all these like really nice notes based on the lecture. So the next thing that we need to do is we just need to put the two modules of our program together. So the getting summary and the getting the voice recognition. And so in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new file, we'll call it run dot pi and then all we're going to do is we can just use actually this voice recognition right here so import whisper right model dot transcribe and instead of audio dot mp3 we'll maybe have the user put in a file path so we'll say uh, audio file 
is equal to input and then there you go and the result will just be equal to model.transcribe audio file okay and then we'll say that the transcription is equal to result.text and then we're also going to import Gemini summarize and then we'll say print and we will print Gemini summarize dot let's see the name of our function was get summary and then we will put in our transcription wonderful so here we have our model and we can just delete the voice recognition model because we don't need it anymore there we go and so finally what we're going to do is i'm going to take the audio of a lecture and then we're going to test this out because obviously this first audio is just kind of random stuff that i'm saying let's see if we can get just from the audio of the lecture if the whisper module can successfully transcribe and then have gemini summarize everything so now you can see here in our Trollaflem folder, we have audio of Sapolsky depression. So this is actually a lecture given by Stanford professor Robert Sapolsky on depression in the United States. It's really, really interesting. So I recommend you all watch it or you can just read the notes that I'm about to generate. So we're going to run run.py. You can see right here, it's asking us to put in our audio file. So we're going to say sap Polsky depression dot mp3 and you can see already it's doing the transcription and depending on how fast your computer is the transcription may take a little bit the lecture here is about an hour long and so it's going to take us a few minutes to actually get the transcription but once we get the transcription luckily Gemini can actually summarize it pretty fast as well. Uh, the whole point is that within a few minutes, we will get notes for this lecture. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, that took a little bit longer than expected, but still we have some really nice notes here. And since I've already like watched the lecture and I know what it's about, like these notes are, these notes are great. So yeah, you no longer have the need to take notes in class. Now, obviously I understand there's some psychological benefits to like writing it down with your hand or whatever, or it helps you pay attention. But you know, at the end of the day, this is really cool. It can save you some time potentially if you say you miss a lecture or if you go to UVA, if you skip a lecture, let's be honest. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So if you wanna use this for yourself, I've actually built a nice little web client, which is available on my GitHub. So there'll be a link in the description for Trollaflem. And so all you have to do is just download this, run flask run in the terminal, and it's gonna give you a nice little GUI, so a nice little website where you can paste in the transcript or just upload the file directly. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or suggestions about what we did today, please leave them down below. Make sure to like this video, make sure to star the repository on GitHub, and uh, well, good luck not having to take notes.